Please adhere to YouTube's selected guidelines before viewing content of this video. I do not encourage or condone any products, actions, or behaviors shown in this video. All videos are produced in a safe, professional, and controlled environment. Please do not attempt to replicate any actions performed during the video. All actions are performed by professionals. Alrighty, so today I'm going to be giving y'all a full tour of the $44 per night hotel room that I'm staying at in downtown Tokyo, Japan, which I am quite excited to do. It's a little bit of a small room, but it's a very nice, well put out, well put out, well thought out, well put together room that I am a pretty big fan of, I will admit. Now, saying that it's $44, I will also admit, is kind of clickbait because I am splitting the cost in half with a friend who's also staying in the room with me. So it's technically $88 per night, but honestly, $88 per night is still really not a bad deal for what the room is. In all honesty, I'm staying at Lot City Hotels, L-O-T-T-E, City Hotel in somewhere downtown Tokyo. I can't remember the actual name of the area in all honesty. There's a 7-Eleven right under the hotel. We can see the hotel sign up there. And then there's a 7-Eleven underneath the hotel, which is honestly sweet. There's a restaurant and everything like that as well, which is really, really, really nice. I ain't gonna lie, but it's cold out here. It's like, I wanna say 27 degrees out here right now or something like that. It's pretty chilly. I'm gonna go inside, but as we can see, here's the 7-Eleven and you really can't beat it. You can go down anytime, it's 24 seven. You can go down anytime at the night, get yourself a snack, get yourself a drink. You can do whatever you want. They sell liquor there. It's pretty nice, I ain't gonna lie. And it's, it's just sweet kind of thing, it's just sweet. You got the 7-Eleven right under everything. I gotta put my mask on first though. They got a smoking lounge inside. They got a little guest area inside and everything like that kind of thing. If I can actually put my mask on, my mask is being a little bit of a pain right now, but that's okay, you know what I'm saying? That's okay. Let's see if I can get my mask on. There we go, there's one side. Let's get the other side on, right, right? There we go, all right, there we go. I've got both sides of my mouth, ma of my mouth on? I've got both sides of my mouth on, that is correct. I should also mention, it is currently 11 o'clock at night because this is my last night at the hotel and I wanted to make this video, so I was like, I gotta do it now. Let's go inside though. There we go. And so I'm staying on the, I wanna say, I'm staying on the 11th floor. I almost forgot what floor I was staying on. I'm staying on the 11th floor though. There we go. But I'm staying on the 11th floor and you've got a, and I've got a great view of one particular notable uh, tourist destination, which is really cool, I will admit. So I'm looking forward to showing you. Just going up the elevator. Let's see, on the fourth floor, which is the floor we just arrived at, as we can see, we're on the fourth floor currently. Uh, the fourth floor has the indoor smoking lounge. It has just the normal lounge. It has like a pub on it. And then there's a bunch of other stores in the bottom story of the hotel that I, I didn't bother visiting because they looked expensive. And I was like, I'm not, I'm not trying to spend too much money right now, but, but it's all very nice. It's all very nice, I will admit. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. You know, on the 11th floor though, let's go to my room. Try to be a little bit quiet because it is 11 o'clock at night after all. I've got my room key, which is essential because I need to get in the room. Not only because I need to get in the room though, but also because you guys might notice all the lights are out. Well, that's because without the room key, none of the lights turn on. That is correct. None of the lights turn on without the room key in this little thing right here which I think is hilarious. I'm taking off my mask though. I'm taking off my mask. I'm gonna go and take off my beanie as well. Just do that real quick. And then after that, I'm gonna go ahead and start giving you guys the full tour. I think I'm gonna take off my jacket too, if I can. Cause I will admit, I'm struggling. Maybe I shouldn't have tried to take off my jacket. It is what it is. If this is too embarrassing, I can always cut it out of the video, right? But I'm just gonna lay that on the bed. But I'm gonna go ahead and start at the front of the room. So of course, you have the normal stuff, hotel lock, normal lock, uh, please make up room. And then you have like the do not disturb sign, which is on the outside of the room currently. You have the exit stuff and everything like that. And you have uh, like, this is not meant to be a towel rack, but this is where one of the towels is hang, hung, 
hanged, hung, I don't know the right way of putting that. You got some, whatever these are called, uh, hangers. That's it. You got a lot, you got a safe right there. You got some slippers, which is pretty notable. I don't think I'm supposed to wear my shoes in here, but that's okay, because I'm doing it anyway. I'm, I'm wearing my shoes in here anyway. Don't tell anybody though. And you got like a little brush and everything right there though. Definitely, so far, definitely worth the $44 per night that I'm paying and the $88 per night overall, I will admit. I'm like, just based off of that kind of thing, just based off of that, taking a look at the sink and everything like that, it's pretty basic kind of thing. It's pretty basic. You got some cups, you got some toiletries, you got my toothpaste right there that I brought with me, you got some towels for washing your, for, for wiping your hands, you got some hand soap, you got my toothbrush that I brought with me, you got all of my toiletries that I brought with me, and you just got a nice little sink kind of thing. It's a pretty nice sink. The water pressure is fantastic even 11 stories up certainly no complaints on my behalf underneath the sink we can see there's a little bit of a hair dryer right here a little bit of a basket right there and of course just a normal ice thing where it starts to get interesting though and where it really starts to differentiate itself from american hotel rooms because all i've really ever stated are american hotel rooms in all honesty i do suppose besides the slippers down there which i think i might have forgotten to mention the main thing that starts to really differentiate this hotel room from a lot of American hotel rooms that I've previously stayed at is really the bathroom in all honesty. So opening up the door, we can see there's a toilet in here kind of thing. There's, there's a toilet. Uh, I should probably turn on the light, shouldn't I? There we go. There we go. Put the seat down just like that. Certainly no complaints on my behalf, but we can see it is definitely not an American toilet. There's a sanitary bag for some reason. There's a shelf here for some reason, not exactly sure why. And then we can see something is plugged into the wall. That would be the bidet, because if I sit down on the toilet like I am right now, you can just look over here and see that all, every, everything you might need is right here ready to be used. You can flush your toilet with this, you can flush your toilet with that, you can do something with this, I don't know what that is. Uh, you can stop the bidet, you can uh, have it spray your butt cheeks with two streams of water, you can have it spray your butt cheek with one very heavy stream of water, or you can have it lift you up with two streams of water, or you can have it blow your ass. Um, and then there's a lot of different settings. I don't use the bidet. I use the toilet paper that's right here. I'm too scared to try it. I ain't gonna lie to you. I am too scared to try it. I'm like, I don't know what's gonna happen. I might just die. I might just die. So I haven't used the bidet yet. Although that's probably something I need to do before I leave Japan, because I know once I go back to the United States, there ain't no bidets there kind of thing. I ain't using none of the bidets in the United States because there ain't none. But, but I might just have to see if I use if I can use one at least once in Japan kind of thing. See if I like it or not. I haven't tried it yet. I might have to see if I like it. But certainly no complaints on my behalf either way. This is a pretty nice feature to have, I ain't gonna lie. And a feature you would not see in a lot of American hotel bathrooms. But that's pretty much all there is to the bathroom. There's really not much to it in all honesty. Uh, white wall, not white wall, white wall. Uh, like laminate hardwood floors and like it's nice it's not bad kind of thing this is apparently a, according to google a three-star hotel i don't know it's nice to me maybe i'm used to staying in three-star hotels i don't really stay in expensive hotels i tend to pick the cheapest option in all honesty so this is a pretty nice hotel for what it is in my personal opinion another thing that really differentiates this hotel from American hotels though, in my opinion, is this right here. Now, I, I really still have no clue what this is, uh, but what you can do if you do this is, is fold it like that. And I'm pretty sure this is meant to be like a, a press or something like that. I, I really I really don't know what this is meant to be. Let me know in the comments down below if y'all know what this is. I'm pretty sure this is a clothing press, maybe like a towel dryer or something like that. I haven't bothered using it because I don't see any point and me using it because I'm, I'm leaving tomorrow. I'm leaving tomorrow morning, uh, so I don't really see any point in using it now, that's for sure, but, or I'm leaving the hotel tomorrow morning. I'm not leaving Japan tomorrow morning. I'm leaving the hotel tomorrow morning, going somewhere else, you know what I'm saying, what I'm saying. But, you can see a couple different settings right here and everything like that kind of thing. Corby 4400, pretty cool if I do say so myself. And a little, little, uh, little, little coin pocket right here, you know what I'm saying, just so you can put your coins in, store your coins right there. Maybe that's what this is. Maybe this is a coin cleaner. Maybe that's what this is. I, I seriously doubt that, but hey, who knows? You know what I'm saying? Who knows? Now let's go ahead and give a full review to the mirror behind me, though. The mirror. It's a pretty nice mirror. It's very tall, which is appreciated, I will admit. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. Uh, but moving on from the mirror and moving on from this, 
which I still really have no clue what this is. I think this is either a laundry dryer, uh, a shirt press, a pant press. I really have no clue in all honesty. I don't know what this is. Either way, it's a nice to have, even though I don't know what it is because it's different than what I normally have. Uh, but the main thing that's a really big eye catcher for me is the bathroom and the bathroom is so badass. I'm gonna go and turn on the light real quick. Would you just do by just flicking that just like that. We can see there's a towel right here. The towel is not normally here and there's not normally a towel on the ground either, but the, but, but the shower has been used, which is why that all of that is there. Let's go and just open the door though. And we can see, it ain't no light, it ain't no, it ain't no. It ain't like no typical American shower that is for sure, which is very much to my preference. I actually do like it quite a bit. We can see there's a tub right here, there's a bar right there. There's a faucet right there. There's some body wash right there that I put last night that I moved from over there. The body wash smells amazing, by the way. It smells better than the body wash I spend way too much money on at home. Actually, I get mint your body wash. I don't spend way too much money on it, but this body wash from the hotel smells better than the body wash I get it. I get, I get it. I get in the in, I get in the states. I'm like, what, what is going on, kind of thing. What is going on? Why does it Why does it smell better? This is insane, but it does. But the main thing for me, and I'm gonna go ahead and just close the door behind me. I know it's gonna get a little bit echoey, actually very echoey, but that's okay. That's perfectly fine. You know, what I'm saying that's perfectly fine. So we can just see, looking down here, there's another faucet, which is pretty cool if I do say so myself, and then. There's a little bit of a button. So you can take the faucet and you can fill up the bucket and then you can dump the bucket on your head with the hot water and do it like the classic Japanese style, I guess. I don't know if there's actually a name for it. Uh, all I know is that it's kind of an anime trope. That's all I know. Uh, so I assume it must be a thing, right? It must be a thing. Cause you know, anime is super accurate of the real world, right? There's also a little stool here. So you can sit down, which is pretty nice if I do say so myself. So you can just sit here, do that, hop on the tub, take a shower, because there's a shower head right here as well. And overall, yeah, I, 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 I love this. It's a shower room. It's a shower room. It's not just a shower. You can hose down this entire room and it's gonna be perfectly fine. And this is how every single shower should be in my opinion. And I, I don't like showers in the States because of it. They should, they should all be shower rooms. They should all be shower rooms in all honesty because what, what's the point of taking a shower if you can't spray the walls, right? That's what I'm saying. I, why, why put drywall in a shower when it's just going to melt when you get it wet? I don't get it. You know what I'm saying? I don't get it. Either way, though, this whole shower area right here, I don't even know really what to call it. Shower room, I guess, is the best way of describing it, in my opinion, is amazing. I love it. I want this. I, I want this for my house. I'm not kidding about that. Maybe, maybe a slightly bigger tub. The tub is a little bit small for me. I am 6'1 after all. But, but either way, I want this room. I want this. And it just all drains to that drain right there. I, stay open door. I, I want this room. I want this room so bad, y'all. I love it. But that, of course, is not all there is to the hotel room that I spent $44 per night on, or in actuality, $88 per night. Take my gator off too. There we go. No complaints on my behalf. You know what I'm saying? No complaints on my behalf. So taking a look at the main room, we can see one bed. This is my bed. My backpack's on it right now. And then we can see a second bed right there. That's the bed my friend is sleeping on. And we can see a great view. There's a flat screen. There's a very tiny desk. There's a little rollout thing right here. A rollout chair that isn't very comfy. I sat on it. Yesterday, it's not very comfy, I will admit. There's a flat screen TV, some wood paneling, very classic hotel room stuff right here kind of thing. This is no big surprise. TV remote, all my mess I have laid out because I'm packing up. I'm packing up to leave tomorrow. So I got all my mess laid out, just getting ready to be packed up. We got hot water, hot water boiler, which is pretty nice. No smoking sign, which is pretty nice. Got a bunch of information right there and everything like that. Uh, got, a, got a cup because I made some tea this morning with this right here and we got another clean cup down there and then some other stuff down there as well and everything like that which is pretty nice got a little storage cubby right there i'm trying to go i'm trying to really go through everything this hotel room has to offer i ain't skipping nothing for 44 dollars a night i want to make sure i'm getting my money's worth and so well i gotta make sure i'm getting my money's worth that is for sure so i gotta go through everything this hotel room has it's also got of course a mini fridge which we can see oh turns on just like that. I've got 
my breakfast in there right now, but they also gave us some complimentary chocolates, which is pretty nice, I will admit. And I've got, you know, that's not my water bottle. That's, uh, that's uh, my friend's water bottle right there. But there is some water in there nonetheless, which was complimentary, which is nice, I will admit. But I think that's just about all there is to this side of the room. I think I already showed you guys the beds. The beds, I will admit, decently comfy. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. Not bad at all if I do say so myself. Little thing on the wall right here. He's the AC right here. Turn it down, turn it up, turn it down, turn it up. Piss off the hotel. Turn it down all the way, turn it up all the way. Who knows? You got, you got to do what you got to do to get your money's worth kind of thing. Oh, and I can switch it from being Celsius to Fahrenheit. Oh, that's nice. 26 Celsius, 79 Fahrenheit. It's really warm in here. What the hell? I'm putting that on 75. 24 Celsius. There we go. Much better, you know what I'm saying? Much better. I did not realize it was that warm in here. That explains why I was getting really, really, really warm earlier. I ain't gonna lie. I was, I was dying a little bit of heat in here. It was uh, certainly very hot, that is for sure. But I've showed you guys pretty much all there is to this room right here. There's a little bit of a a bench over there that you could sit on a little bit of a sofa or something like that a little bit of a table over there then we have a little bit of a humidifier right here or ac or something i don't know what this is i think it's a humidifier econo navi i don't i don't know what this thing is it's all in japanese i have i didn't translate any of it beforehand either i have no clue but in my personal opinion one of the biggest selling points for this room is definitely the view which is something that i've been trying not to show y'all and y'all might have been able to catch a glimpse but I tried not to show y'all as best as I could because the view is amazing. Let me just turn it around real quick and hopefully y'all can see it because there is the Tokyo Sky Tree. Look at that, y'all. I know the reflections are, are not very are not very are not very good right now, but look at this view. You can see the streets down there. You can see everything. There's a tobacco shop right there, which is pretty cool though. I, I, I wasn't able to buy anything there because, oh man, this is knocking the breath out of me because I walked by there. I was like, okay, I'm going to come back and they'll still be open, right? And then I came back and they weren't open. So I haven't bought anything from there, which is what it is. But, but the view, oh my God. I mean, like, look at that. You see the Tokyo Sky Tree right there. And I know it might not look very up close on camera, but it, it, it looks so up close in real life and it really is nuts. Uh, yeah, it's a mile away though. It's a mile away. And it looks so up close in real life. It's crazy. It's like, wow, that's got to be like, I don't know two blocks over no it's a mile away it's absolutely nuts it really is just absolutely nuts i ain't gonna lie y'all but overall though that has pretty much been the tour of the 44 dollar per night hotel room in tokyo japan i hope you guys have enjoyed watching this little bit of a different video and uh I, this video is definitely very different from what i normally do on this channel but i mean like hey I gotta make my money back somehow, you know? I'm actually not kidding about that. <laughs> I'm actually not kidding about that at all. I, I am trying to make my money back and making this video. Hopefully, as long as it does okay. CPM should be decent, you know what I'm saying? CPM, oh, I did cuss during this video, didn't I? Never mind, my CPM is gonna be shit. No, well, now I cussed anyway, so. It is what it is. It is what it is. But. I certainly hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video. If you guys have enjoyed watching this video, of course, please make sure to like and subscribe for more content. I have my Instagram, my book, my I have my Instagram, my book, my merch, my PO box, and my second channel. Took me a moment. All in the description down below. Go check it all out. Uh, but yeah, I certainly hope you guys have enjoyed watching the tour of the forty-four dollar per night Airbnb, also known as the eighty-eight dollar per night Airbnb, not not Airbnb, hotel room. I do apologize, y'all. As said once again, I'm tired. It's 11.30 at night. I'm ready to take a shower and go to bed. Man, oh man. I was going to do this earlier today, but I, I just I just didn't. I just didn't. Yeah, I'm wiped, y'all. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so wiped. It's almost like I, I might have only gotten like five hours of sleep last night. It's okay. It's okay. But I certainly hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video. And uh, I don't think I have anything else to say about the room. The room overall is pretty nice. Definitely worth the $44 per night for the location and everything like that. I wouldn't want to stay here for like a month per se, but I mean like for a couple days, this place is great kind of thing. This place is great. Really couldn't have chosen a better location, honestly. I didn't even chose this, choose this location. I just went along with it. I was just like, hell yeah, all right, big bet. It's booked, cool, I'll pay you kind of thing. But you know, I certainly hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video. Till the next one, y'all. Stay safe and peace and have a great one. Yes, sir, yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying.